going to start out this video by showing you what it is that I had to repair about my ozonator. Is, uh, these two plates right here are putting out ozone, indicated by the blue glow about them, which is an electrostatic discharge. It's, a, uh, it's an arc of electricity that's causing that blue glow. And these plates over here, you got a top and bottom plate on this transformer, which they're just completely off. There's no blue glow to them at all. And, um, you know, so not only did I have to replace this set of plates in this transformer because they were totally dysfunctional, I also wanted to replace these ones that were partially working because they weren't putting out as much ozone as it had been when I first received them, which is typical that the longer you use an ozonator, the less and less ozone the, the plates put out. And it's not just a situation that's related to the plates, it's actually the plates and the transformer both degrade. Um, I think that it's got a lot to do with the amount of heat that is generated by the ozonator and the, and the transformer across a lifetime, which is not very long. You know, it's uh, almost immediately the plates begin to put out less and less ozone and uh, across a couple months then you know it, it tracks down so significantly that you want to replace the plates and probably you want to replace the transformer too alrighty it's nice and clean there's no chips in the bottom I see a little bit of dirt right there in the corner. Don't know what that's from, but at least the screws both look new. Got another one right there. I had to order new ozonator plates. You know, they come with these transformers attached to the bottom, which, you know, you need the transformer and you need the plates in order to refresh the ozonator. On account of the ozonator being, um, you know, what's it called? Um, the performance of these is finite. That you know, it, it reaches a point where it will not put out ozone anymore. In fact, in the first week of having these, they started producing a significantly less amount of ozone. So that's what I gotta do right now is I gotta swap out the plates and the and the transformers of my ozonators. So I am unboxing this. And that one also looks good. Yep. Um, you know, those other ones that I got that were broken, they had a little bit of schmegma all over them. They were dirty. There was a corner of it that was chipped. And, um, you know, like right here, it was, was chipped that somebody had smashed it, broke it off. And, you know, one of the plates on the top was bashed that it was broken. So, you know, it was uh, not capable of being used to repair my ozonator, which the plates in my ozonator, they're uh, not functional just because, you know, they had so much electricity run through them. So, I'm going to sit down right here and unplug the ozonator on that step number two on account of my having just unboxed the new plates inspected them and they look good so remove these other plates that are dysfunctional i tried them both incidentally and it's not just the one that is broken that doesn't work you know i i actually didn't put the broken one into the ozonator you know i don't really need to test the function of it like that because you know it's clearly now I work in ozonator plate on account of it being smashed. 
but um, I'm going to take this, set that up right there. grip. Uh, you know, let's uh, go one way or the other. I need some of these. And I'll grab my plates and sit down and get to work. Oh, I'm myself a work surface like this. Myself, it is surely unplugged. All right, I'm just gonna undo the screws uh, holding the sides of the box on. Take the side of the box off, flip this over, get the other side of the box off. this we got on this one we got green and red on their replacements both of the wires are blue but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use it right and left so both of the left are gonna get hooked up to this both of the ones that are coming out of the right are gonna get hooked up to this and um, oh yeah then I got some black wires in there that this wire right there, that black wire. It, um, maybe I can get, uh, okay, there we go. Yep, the black wire there and the black wire over here. Right there and right there. Those, um, you know, once again, it's gonna be right and left because they go to the fan. And then that's all there is to it. These I'm not gonna detach. Yeah, that's the wall plug, and that's all there is to it. I am going to detach this connector, though, on account of... It being a lot easier to access it. And all I gotta do is take the bolts off of, or the nuts off of the bottom. Which, you know, it's easy enough to spin that with my fingers because that's all I did to tighten it. Last time I had it apart, didn't wrench down on it too hard. So now I get these and I can spin this. Just want to make sure that this one black wire stays over this side. It is just wrapped around this wire. And so I'm going to unwrap it, shove it down this little hole, screw hole in the side of the box. That way it stays over that side. Spin this, put the red wires out. Which are going to be replaced by the left wires on the new Ozonator plate transformers. Yeah. 
unscrew these from the bottom, which, yeah, there's a nut on the other side of this, which I gotta, uh, because I just hand tighten it down with just the tiniest little bit of the screwdriver pressure at the end. It's easy enough to take off with my fingers, and I'm gonna reassemble this bolt with the What's this thing called? A, um, let's see, you gotta bolt a nut and, uh, um, I can't remember what this little flat round plate is. Uh, it's been a long time since I did some maintenance. Um, a washer, that's what it is. one also comes off with the washer and then put the nut on the other side nut the washer and the bolt drop those right there flip this thing over Get bolts and washers and nuts holding the other end in I'm gonna hold on to the red wire here while I'm undoing this bolt and that will allow me to not drop it and just pull it right up out of there oh, yeah. set these bolts and nuts over to the side after I reattach them All right. and now here is the final one bolt washer nut that I gotta undo. Alright, and then that's that. You know, it is empty. So now I'm gonna take this with my red wires on this side. So I can Reconnect my loose wires on the other side. And I'm going to take these one at a time. Bolt nut washer. And put it in here. bolt in with my thumb I put the screw the washer on or screw the nut on with the washer below it and then I'm just gonna hold the washer in place with my fingers as best I can give the screw a little bit of a turn and it's pretty tight both of these on this side with the red wires facing me yeah. get, my, get my bolt ready screw off the nut grab the washer put the bolt in there line the hole up drop the washer on sit the nut on top Spin the screw head of the bolt with my fingers. And then we're ready to spin it with the screwdriver. All right. All right, now these ends are swinging loose. So I gotta be a little bit careful with that. Here for holding the 
Ozonator transformers in place. Incidentally, the um, the blue plates that are on the top, those are the Ozonator plates. And the gray body that's underneath them are the... Uh, those are the transformers. You can use like a neon light transformer in order to get this type of arc that you get from a ozonator corona discharger. That, um, you get like a an electric arc going between the plates and on this one the um, the blue plates here are uh, there's like a metal grid on top of them and that electrically connects to the steel plate underneath you know the um, the electricity actually comes in on those red wires in the back and it goes to the um, okay the um, there's like a red wire on this side which is connected with a washer um, electrical connector back there to the bottom plate here and then the electricity on the other side is connected to the top plate so that you know it's connected to this metal grid that's inside this blue plate here so then you get an, a, a corona discharge between the steel plate and the blue plate and um, you know that's connected to the metal plate right here by this metal rod which there's a um, there's like a screw in the middle of it. The screw goes down into this gray body here. So that's the electrical connection right there. Whereas you can see on this side and the three other posts, or you know, the three other posts as compared to this one, that the uh, the posts are all plastic. So the, you know, this is the only one that's an electrical connection. So the connection goes from this plate to that plate, from this plate to this plate into that wire, from that wire onto the other wire that's right beside it connected into that same little white bulge of um you know it's actually uh, a, a piece of rubber which is uh you know apparently those two wires are both soldered you know they're hard soldered onto the blue plate and then they're covered with some rubber just for you know uh, you know the, so the arc doesn't go anywhere else you know if you get your fingers close to it or something like that but um, yeah, that's the whole electrical connection. So up to there, up through here, over to there, back down here, and back down there, and into the transformer body. And um, you know, to be able to plug it into the wall, yeah, you because know, this is the uh, the wire that goes to the wall it's a 120 volt wall outlet plug the um, you know I gotta hook these up appropriately which because these are both blue wires I gotta do right and left so this is a left left wire and left wire as they come out of the yeah, these are the two left wires as they come out of the transformer body here going over to the power from the wall now these are not long enough to hook up on here so that's why I need this which is going to strip this wire I'll take the, the blue housing off of it left wire again strip the housing off of the wire try to be gentle with this so as not to break any of the copper cabling in there and I broke it ever so slightly try to make sure I get down here where the Copper 
wire is fully thick. It, it is as wide as it gets down there. So I'm actually gonna snip off this little section of blue housing of the wire here. I'll make sure I get the the copper plugged in on this connector at its thickest. Spin these copper wires up so they're um, they're stable, so they're not just you know they don't get frayed and. Um, Take this steel wire here. I gotta wrap it around at least one of these copper wires. And this was kind of spun up before, but I'm gonna spin it up again. Okay, so I got a pretty good connection there. Use the one that's on the left hand side over here, which is exactly how it was hooked up before. Yeah. Jam that in. Slide this one in. The longer one had to be jammed in because it's a uh, it's a little bit longer. I'll screw it down. good. It's all hooked up kind of tight. Now I gotta take the right hand side wires coming out of the transformers here. Two right hand side wires and I'm gonna strip those. them so they don't fray. Put this over here. Another one to do. Spun so it does not fray. These are the two right hand side wires. I'm going to take this wire that's coming off of the fan, the black wire here. Make sure it's spun up nice so it doesn't fray. around one of these copper wires so I get a metal to metal connection tuck it under a little plate here which is for screwing down to make sure that there's an electrical connection here one of these I'm having to jam it in there pretty good because of it being a little bit longer in, in the connector here. Screw it down. Looks like it's a plenty good electrical connection. Doesn't touch anywhere but the plate. The fan wires are well attached. No grounding to any of the metal of the wire. Here, you got screws on the bottom of this thing. I gotta put those screws down through the screw holes in the bottom. This ozonator. Okay, I got one of those. There's the other one. Put my screwdriver down in there. Bump it out the bottom. I'm actually going to use just the I don't even know what that thing's called. 
I don't know if I've ever known what it's called. It is, um... A bit. It is a screw bit. Yeah, a screwdriver head. A screwdriver head bit. Because you know, I got this uh, bit driver here. And now I'm just hand tight screwing these nuts in the bottom of these bolts. Alright. So this thing's solid in here now. And the wires are all on there solid. Plastic housing back on. One more screw on this side, four more screws on the other side. Now, this thing, it does not have a on-off switch, which is weird, right? But, um, you know, if you just plug it into a live outlet, then it'll just come on. And so, I have it set up over here that the outlet is not live. You plug it into an off outlet. And then um, my outlet has a power button on it. Ooh, beautiful. And the, um, the power button. Oh, that's nice. The, the power button, uh, the on off button on my outlet here. It's actually connected to um, a timer unit that I have it programmed to come on every three hours for five minutes. So there's eight cycles per day that this thing powers on and runs the ozonator. And um, I've found that if I run the ozonator just on solid, like if I run it for like a whole hour, then the plates and the transformer, the whole system here will degrade, you know, everything except for the fan, you know, the fan will work, you know, pretty much regardless, but the, um, the plates and the, and the transformer will put out less and less ozone the longer the ozonator has run, you know, for its lifetime, and you know, like I was saying earlier, they're only good for like a week that they put out the full amount of ozone that they do. And after that, if you want the full amount of ozone that your ozonator can put out, then you got to replace the plates in the transformer. Now, I ran this ozonator with these plates for like, I want to say three months, I think. I think I got it in August, September, October, November. Yeah, now we're here in mid-December, so I guess four months. Yeah, almost four and a half months, but um, one of these had just completely stopped working. There was absolutely no corona discharge. The other one was working, but it was putting out barely any ozone. 
And so I needed very badly to replace my ozonator plates and transformers. And so that's what I've done here. Now I did buy a ozonator from Genesco one time, like way back in the day. And they didn't have this system where you got the the transformer and the plate all in one unit. They had a system where you got the transformer like someplace else in the box and then they got wires running too where you got the plates and you can swap the plates out real easily but the transformer and um, they gave me a lifetime warranty on that ozonator but uh, you know I brought it back after about six months and I told them you know it's just not putting out the ozone that it used to put out and they're like oh well you know we'll replace the plates so they replaced the plates and the thing still is not working properly and so you know I got screwed of my lifetime warranty you know they um, they have like a mail-in service generally but I actually put my ozonator on my back in a backpack and I brought my camping gear and I spent overnight on the road to drop my ozonator off at their business which was you know the next state over from me I was living in Massachusetts at the time and their ozonator business was in New Hampshire and um, you know what was it like it's like an 80 mile drive that I did in one day and then you know they, they told me like oh okay it's working now you know because they replaced the plates and I got it back home and it's still not working so it needed the transformer replaced you know the what is in this part the gray part you know, all they replaced was the blue parts, you know, which is like, um, you know, they're like a dollar fifty to produce. They sell them for like 15 bucks. And what I needed replaced was a transformer, you know, which is, um, it's wire coils. It was like wire coils of, um, of one diameter, the wire, and then wire coils of a different diameter for another wire. And they're set up side by side so that the uh, electromagnetism is being thrown from one set of coils onto the other set of coils and um, you know that's how you get the the high voltage to to run an ozonator and um, yeah so they they screwed me out of my lifetime warranty by not fixing my machine when I brought it in there and then um, you know I found this ozonator on eBay for like 70 bucks and I found that they sell these together for like 20 bucks and so you know if I replace these every four months for the rest of my life you know I'm gonna be spending forty dollars for the pair so uh, that's with shipping so I don't know maybe like um, what's that three times per year to have a working ozonator when um, you know these people, Genesco, you know believed that they could give me lifetime warranty for what was gonna you know really be uh, if they were to actually maintain my ozonator. You know I don't know how that they were doing it, but when I was in there, they had like a bunch of ozonators that they were doing repairs for people. And so, you know, it, it makes absolutely no sense to me how it is that they could give a lifetime warranty on something that's going to cost a year to maintain it. You know, when you buy it for like, I think I bought that Ozonator for like 400 bucks, so it should have been like, you know, if, if they warrantied it for then they would already have been losing money. But yeah, I don't know. That's how they did it, and it's uh, you know they're just liars apparently. You know, because there's no way that they're gonna maintain a ozonator for a, a lifetime warranty if uh, you know they gotta replace these like every couple months, which is the fact of the matter. In order to keep the thing running, you know, right now this has already been running too long probably, but it's putting out like the most ozone that. I've been uh, breathing for like a long time and it's tasting pretty good to me. You know, I love the, the whiff of this ozone in my nose, it's beautiful. It smells like a lightning storm going on in here. Anyhow, that is the ozonator maintenance.